Let me see again. Ocean. Okay, ready? One, ocean. Two, one, two, three. Ocean promotion! Thanks for helping out, guys. I was tasked with creating games, right? Yeah. I didn't create games, I followed a book, and these guys are gonna do it. Hey, this is about it. Oh, also, also, um, this vlog is gonna be completely different because. I was gonna do a vlog for every day from setting up and our meetings and stuff, but I'm just gonna wrap it all up. This is gonna be a, a VBS how-to. Yeah. It's gonna be a VBS how-to, I guess. For those of you that have uh, that go to church or or serve in your kids' ministries, maybe there, that I'm gonna teach you guys how we do ours. As whatever whatever that's like. Okay guys, I'm sorry if that was so confusing, but this is us jumping ahead in the future. That was Friday evening, and it's Tuesday now, so that whole event was done. So yeah, if you're interested in knowing more about what our VBS is like, or if you're over there at your church and you're running your own VBS and would like to know what we do, stick around. Let's talk about it. Okay, from my few years, I want to say I've, I've helped out with VBS for maybe like five years. I didn't know that I'm an assistant for the kids' ministry. And you've guys seen in my previous vlogs where I'd help watch the kids or I'd teach them from time to time. So what we do first is we gather a team to help assist us as leaders. Now the best way that we've done it is we start announcing it on Sundays to the whole congregation. So what does your team look like? Now including you and your teachers that you already have who already serve the kids at your church. You'll need some people to volunteer for teaching, some people to lead games, you'll need people to lead uh, the crafts. You'll need people to help decorate, and you'll need people to help you out with the food. And most importantly, you'll need people to lead the kids. Because what we do is, the kids broken down in age groups or classes, and we'll have people lead them to help keep things organized, to help them to keep paying attention to what's going on, that they'll listen. And because there'll be so many kids, you can't just have one or two people watch all of them. But that always varies by like how big your event is or how big your church is. And honestly, just get as many people as you can to help out. The more volunteers, the better. It'll be nice for the whole church to be involved, really. Second thing that's important is you want to meet regularly. So now that you have all those groups and you got the people assigned to what groups that they're in, first of all, you want to have the lesson down or the theme. And that's most important because that's what VBS is all about anyways. It's by teaching them more about God and more about God's Word, which is the Bible. So once you got that laid out, then you start building everything around it. The crafts, games. You can't get hit or you're out. By the octopus. It's dodgeball with the octopus. <laughs> that too. That so, you know there was a whale of a problem back in Noah's day. We all sinned. All of us. You, me, everybody in this earth. Raise your hand if you haven't sinned. That's all of us, right? We've all sinned. The decoration that's going to get put up, it should all be aligned with what the lesson is about. It's for the kids, it's all good. <laughs> Dude, that looks so good! And third is preparation. Fundraise if you guys have to. So sometimes that's doing yard sales. Or maybe you guys can even just solicit to your church and ask them to help donate to this event. I know VBS is a big event for a lot of churches. And I think that there'll be no one to debate that it is a good thing for kids to know more about God and more about the Bible, right? And then you want to have preparation for your games. You want to know the games well. Secondly, you're going to want to know the crafts well. Uh, you don't want to be learning as you're showing it to the kids. Not knowing what you're doing and having to take care of a group of kids at an event. I'm telling you, it's, it gets crazy quick. So take some time in knowing your crafts. Take some time in knowing your games well. So when you explain it to them, it's second nature. And I think a big thing for preparation for everyone to be involved in is decoration. We start on the Sunday after service, come in probably on Wednesday, and then we'll come in early on Friday to really get everything neat and looking good. And lastly, execution. If you and your team prepared as well as you should have, it should be a breeze. And you should have just as much fun as the kids are having. So I hope this list of things helps you out for those of you who are involved in VBS at your church. And for those of you that have no idea what VBS is and no idea what Christianity is, if you want to ask me questions personally, or if you want to start discussion down below in the comments section, go ahead. I don't mind starting a 
a healthy and thoughtful conversation on these things. So go ahead and do that if you'd like to. But VBS is something that I know I'll continue to be supporting in the future. And I hope that this is something that you guys do for your church. All right, guys, I'll just catch you on the next episode. Sorry if this was really weird and I fumbled around everywhere. All right, later, guys.